folks, and welcome to the Jurassic J Show. So we're going to be talking about one thing today and one thing only, and that is called the timeline that we call life. So let's first ask ourselves this question. How old is the Earth? The Earth is about 4.5 billion years old. Billion, folks, that's 1,000 million, and we got 4,000 of them. Aw, yeah. Now let's do a quick comparison, though. Earth is 4.5 billion years old. Compare this to the universe that is 14 billion years old. Oh, yeah, again. So, I drew this model for us, guys, and this is displaying the 12 periods of life. But first, before we get to periods, we have to talk about eras. What are eras exactly? Well, there have been three eras of life so far in our little planet we call Earth. First, we have the Paleozoic. This is when first life began in the water. Paleozoic, just think of all oceans and water and all those little beginning critters. That moves us to the Mesozoic. This is the time of the dinosaurs. The famous time, you know? And then finally, we have the Cenozoic. It's generally called the time of mammals, and it's the current era we're living in. Awesome. Now that we have all three of these covered, let's go to the subcategories that we call periods. So there are 12 periods of life breaking up, broken up through these three eras. Let's begin in the Paleozoic. So, we have the Cambrian, the first period of life. The Cambrian is also known for its diverse creation of life, which we call the Cambrian Explosion. <laughs> so, in the millions of years, um, a, a diverse range of species developed, including the trilobites. This brings us to our next period. It's called the Ordovician. This is the time of nautiloids and other sea arthropods. Very primitive fish. Also, we end a develop here. Just want to let you know. Brings us to our next period, the Silurian. This is when the first land plants started to pop up. Remember, all creatures are living in the water before the Silurian. Ah, that brings us to our next period, the Devonian. This marks the first appearance of the first land animals. Amphibians and lungfish were king during this time. Next period to come is the Carboniferous. This is when oxygen levels were super high. It was the highest in Earth's known history, in fact. So bugs got really, really big, and we had 10-foot-long centipedes crawling around. <laughs> Alright, that brings us to the Permian. This saw uh, reptiles and mammal-like reptiles. Uh, we'll talk about mammal-like reptiles in a later episode, though, folks. Alright, but the Permian was also the time of the greatest extinction ever to happen on Earth. The Permian mass extinction. This caused 90% of all life to die. <gasps> but from the ashes, the famous Mesozoic Era started. So now we are in the Mesozoic Era. The time of dinosaurs. <laughs> Boom. So, the dinosaurs began in a little period we like to call the Triassic. Dinosaurs started out small, and even at the end of the Triassic, there wasn't much diversity, folks. Coming up next is the Jurassic. Oh, yes, the famous Jurassic period. It falls smack dad in the middle of the Mesozoic, and it's known when the first breaking up of the continents were. That's right, folks. Our multiple seven continents were once one supercontinent we like to call Pangaea. Boom! But there's one last period in the Mesozoic, and that's called the Cretaceous. And this is when the most famous dinosaurs, such as T-Rex and Triceratops, lived. So, in reality, it should have been called Cretaceous Park, not Jurassic Park. Ha ha ha, heard that joke before. Ah, but this also marks a time when a giant asteroid hit the planet and drove the dinosaurs to extinction. 65% of all life, gone. Okay, guys, we're almost halfway done now. After the extinction came the next era, and the last of them all, and the current one we're living in. And that's called the Cenozoic, baby. So, the Cenozoic began off with the Paleogene. This is when animals were really small, and birds ruled at the beginning. But, soon, the first primates started to develop. And the first whales. <laughs> Alright, next came the Neogene. This is when the first ancestors of humans began to appear. And we're starting to get a little bit closer to modern day. And last but not least, we have the Quaternary Period. It's a current uh, period that we're living in, although there's debate about that. We can talk about that later, folks. And this is when the large ice age that was all famous with the woolly mammoths happened. And it's considered by some as the period we live in now. Now! That we've just covered over 500 millions of life in just a few minutes. I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to keep it short. More videos to come. Thanks for watching the Jurassic J Show.